Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to read two books. And this one is Ice Ice Puggy, and this is gonna be part four. So this is the fourth book, four. And then we're going to read part five, and it's Happy Birthday Puppy Pals. And this is the fifth book, so part five. So we will be reading two books today. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. So let's get started. Hey guys, Bob calls to the pups one morning. I finished mowing the backyard for you to play in. Bingo and Rolly bark happily. Now, I just want to pour myself a big glass of iced tea before I leave. Oh no, Bob says sadly. I'm all out of ice. Iced tea without ice is just plain old tea. Bob leaves for work, trying not to think about refreshing delicious iced tea. I wish we knew where to get ice for Bob, Bingo says to his brother. Arf knows the best place in the world to find the very best ice, Antarctica! It is way down at the bottom of the earth, he tells Bingo and Rolly. Cool, says Rolly. It's more than cool, it's cold, Arf replies, shivering. If it's got what Bob needs, says Bingo, then Rolly and I need to be there. Bingo and Rolly head to the airport as quickly as they can. They find a plane going to Antarctica. Then they hide in a nearby box that is about to get loaded onto the plane. Rolly peeks out a hole in the box. Hey, we get a window seat, he says excitingly. When the plane lands, Bingo and Rolly step out into the swirling snow. Their puppy paws slip and slide on the ice. Bingo and Rolly slide into a penguin. What are you two doggies doing at the bottom of the earth? He says. The pups tell him they're on an ice mission. I can go find you the best ice there is, the penguin says. I just need you to watch my egg until I get back. The puppies promise to keep the egg warm and safe. After the penguin waddles off, Bingo and Rolly get to work. They put on a warm, cozy hat on the egg. They make sure it stays off the ice. Just then, there is a huge, cold gust of wind. The egg starts to slide down a hill. We can't let it get away, Bingo shouts. It's going into that cave, says Rolly. They slide down the hill after it. A moment later, Bingo and Rolly slow to a stop in the cave at the bottom of the hill. Rolly stares at the cracked egg. I don't remember the egg being broken when we followed it in here, he says. Then they hear a giggle. It's a baby penguin! That egg must have hatched and the baby penguin popped out, Rolly says, wagging his curly tail. We should go looking for her dad so we can show him his new daughter. And we can see if he found Bob's ice, Bingo adds. They don't notice the baby penguin waddling away. Bingo and Rolly run after the baby penguin, but their paws are no match for her flipper feet. The puppies keep slipping and sliding across the ice. Just as Bingo and Rolly catch up to the baby penguin, they hear a loud crack. It's the ice breaking. We're floating out into the water, Bingo cries. Suddenly, they start to sink. What are we gonna do, Rolly shouts. The puppies try to keep their balance. Then they heard a thud as the ice bumps into something. Well, look who's here, someone says. It's the penguin. They floated straight to him and he has a big pile of ice waiting for them. Do you have my egg? The penguin asks. Even better, Rolly replies. The baby penguin waddles over saying, da da. The penguin thanks Bingo and Rolly for doing such a great job taking care of his little girl. And they thank him for finding the very best ice. We'd love to stay here and play with you, Rolly says, but my brother and I have to get home as fast as we can. They put the ice cubes in their collars before getting back on the plane. When Bob gets home from work, he chuckles when he sees a glass full of ice cold ice on the counter. This is perfect for the iced tea I've been wanting all day. Mission accomplished. How did oh. you like this book? This baby penguin. That is a baby penguin. 
This one will be that one's Rolly. That one will be Doug Mouse. That one's Bingo. That one's Bingo. Yeah. Happy birthday, Puppy Pals! We like Puppy Pals. Can you tell me where Rolly and Bingo are? This Bingo, this Rolly, this Bingo. Great job, man. Okay. Now, let us get started. Get started. Get started. Today is a fantastic day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and it's time for Bob to wake up. Hooray, it's our birthday today! Rolly shouts, bouncing on Bob's bed. I love birthdays, Bingo says, and I especially love our birthday. Happy birthday, fellas, Bob says with a yawn. It's pretty early. Why don't you play until I get out of bed? The pups give Bob one more lick and then head for the yard. It's going to be the best puppy birthday ever. Rolly heads straight for his favorite thing in the backyard, his stick collection. He finds a new stick and proudly adds it to the pile. Crash! The new stick makes the pile fall over. I wish my sticks would stop spilling everywhere, Rolly says with a sigh. It would be great to have something to put it in. Bingo plays his favorite game, launching his Captain Dog action figure. Boing! Captain Dog flies out of the launcher. Bingo tries launching Captain Dog again. Snap! The spring on the launcher breaks. Oh no, Bingo cries. After the backyard disasters, Bingo and Rolly go inside for breakfast. So, what did you get each other for gifts? Hissy asks her little brothers. The pups look at Hissy confused. Don't you give each other something special? Hissy asks. I want you to have the best birthday ever, Rolly, Bingo says. Ditto, says Rolly. Come on, Rolly, we've got a birthday gift mission, Bingo says. I'm going to find you a present. And I'm gonna find you a present, Rolly replies. Mission, get a possum gift for my brother. Bingo runs and finds the perfect gift, a stick from Rolly's collection. Hissy smiles. Why don't you think of something Rolly doesn't have? She suggests. Then Bingo remembers what Rolly said earlier. A stick holder, he shouts. Rolly finds a gift too, Bingo's ball. Okay, but what would Bingo like that he doesn't have already? Hissy asks. He likes launching his Captain Dog toy, Rolly says. I'll look for something springy. Bingo spots Cupcake and Rufus playing with the box that would be perfect for Rolly's stick collection. Could I have that box for Rolly? He asks. Not unless you can trade it for something better, Cupcake says. Bingo comes up with a plan. When Rolly goes to see his friend Dolly, he sees a spring holding up the doghouse door. That spring is just what I've been looking for, Rolly explains. Well, I need it to keep my door open, Dolly says, but if you have something else that'll work, I'm happy to trade. I'll be back, Rolly shouts, running for home. Bye, Dolly. Rolly trades his stick collection for Dolly's spring. I'll miss you all, he says, taking one last look at his collection. Seems like you really love those sticks, says Dolly. Yeah, Rolly says, but not as much as I love my brother. See ya, I've got a present to wrap. Meanwhile, Bingle takes all his favorite toys to Cupcake and Rufus to make a trade. Cupcake spots Bingle's Captain Dog action figure. That's the one I want! Okay, Bingle says with a sigh. For Rolly, I'll trade. The pups meet in the center of the yard with their gifts. Open yours first, shouts Bingo. No, you go first, Rolly says excitedly. They decide to open them at the same time. Bingo opens his gift. It's a spring to launch, launch your Captain Dog action figure, Rolly explains. And yours is a holder for your stick collection, Bingo tells Rolly. What are you waiting for, Bingo asks. Put your sticks in there. I can't. Rolly says, I traded my stick collection to Dolly for that spring. So let's launch Captain Dog. Bingo shrugs. 
We can't. I traded him to Cupcake for your present. Aww, Hissy says. I feel bad that you can't play with your toys. Yeah, says Bingo. But I have a brother who traded his favorite thing in the world just to make me happy. And that's better than any present I can think of, Rolly adds. Just then, Bob calls the puppies into the house. Who's ready for a birthday party? He asks, presenting Bingo and Rolly with sweaters he knitted himself. Hissy has presents for the puppies too. My stick collection, Rolly shouts, and my captain dog. How did you get our stuff back? Bingo asks. Oh, I just made a couple of trades, Hissy exclaims. The pups give her a big hug. You're the best kitty sister in the whole wide world, Rolly says. I know, Hissy says with a smile. Rolly puts his sticks in the new box. They fit perfectly, he exclaims. Captain Dog flies again, Bingo shouts using the new spring to fix his launcher. Hissy smiles as she watches them play. Happy birthday, little puppy brothers. Mission accomplished. So if you guys like today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and follow for next time.